thrower flashlight seemed to fascinate many enthusiasts and is a gateway into the hobby. Recently, leap lights have taken off and taken that distance to new levels using lasers. What I have for you today here is a very powerful blue laser that can reach out to incredible distances and even burn things. Thanks to J Lasers for sending me their 1.6 watt, 450 nanometer blue laser, which I have here in front of you. Here's my JL lasers, 1.6 watt laser, 450 nanometers. Let's see if we can pop these balloons. Pretty easy. Before I get into the review here, I wanted to touch on safety. These lasers are class four lasers and that's directly related to the power. This is not a toy and can seriously dam be damaging to people, pets, and other things when used incorrectly. Pointing them at aircraft is a felony in many places. And you should really invest in some special laser glasses to protect yourself when using these lights, especially inside. Here's what I have, they're Honeywell UVEX, and I'll have a link to where I got them on Amazon. They're fairly inexpensive here, but they provide good protection against lasers of this nanometer and this length. And they also work great when you are curing UV glue and using a strong UV light. Sometimes that can cause people headaches. So I will link them below. Definitely, if you end up buying a laser, get yourself some safety glasses. You don't wanna blind yourself. Let's look at the performance of this JL Laser 450 nanometer light here. So here it is, it's one mode. And and you can see it's a blue, almost purpley color. You can see the beam very well, and you can see it kind of diverges. The, the beam pattern here isn't completely round. It's rectangular. As I rotate it, you can kind of see that. And you can change the lens here to focus the light, and my fingers kind of get in the way, but as, you, as I unscrew it, you can see that spot get larger. That's common with multi-mode lasers like this. So here it is next to a cheap green laser. This is a really cheap Chinese laser that I've had for a long time. I thought it was really cool because you could see the beam and it goes a reasonably far amount of way. You could point up at the sky at stars and things like that. But as you can see on camera, it really doesn't show up great. And it's really not that bright in comparison to the JL laser here. This thing is fantastic for astronomy easy to point out stars or things like that. The distance here is just super impressive. Might be hard to kind of show on camera, but my neighbor was super impressed and I've already ordered him one. He wants one and he's 80 years old. But for comparison here, I brought out the Lumentop Thor 2. This is a leap light, so also a laser. Different type of thing here. An impressive flashlight, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing like a true laser. Just a comparison here. The Lumentop on the left and the J Laser 450 nanometer 1.5 watt on the right. Just a huge difference there in range. I just wanted to show what the J Laser's 450 nanowatt laser is like in the daytime, and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon here, so sun is very high it's very bright and i've got it here on the fence and you can kind of see it there i can put it up on the roof of the neighbor's shed then if i draw it along the side of the neighbor's fence you can see it as well with the uh, lens that i've got in it now it doesn't create the most focused hot spot but um, that is changeable depending on the lens you can also change the focus of it but you can see there even in the daytime this thing is bright enough where it you can see it so that's pretty cool Okay, I'm out here on my deck. Let's see if this laser will kind of send and burn the box. Oh yeah, you can see it going there. It's actually burning pretty good. I do have my laser goggles on here. You can actually see embers. Let me get a little bit closer. You've got to have it focused right though. I've got it held back maybe a foot foot and a half or so and this is actually burning for here a little bit longer than I thought it would pretty cool so let's talk about the host here internally the light is using this Osram PTLB 450B it's a 5.6 millimeter multi-mode laser diode and it's powered by JL Lasers uh, JBL 450 single mode boost driver it produces a laser beam that's 450 nanometers in wavelength that we saw. And to my eyes, this is a dark blue, almost deep purple color. These lasers do have a duty cycle, which is something to keep in mind. It's recommended to run them for one minute on, five minutes off to cool. These do run on a 14500 battery. It goes positive side up, and I'll talk more about that in a second. There is a sticker that tells you which way the battery goes, but mine seems to have slipped to the bottom of the tube. It's 
pretty easy to push it up. You can kind of see it at the back there. You can get in either front side or back side and the host here is fully reversible. I found that I could use some vape cell golds that were flat tops that would work here in this laser. Um, it recommends a three amp limit and that's just where those gold cells are. And it took more time to burn cardboard and things like that. So these seven amp blue vape cells are, are a better choice. It's worth noting while we're talking about batteries that there are a lot of fake and poor performing lithium ion batteries out there. Amazon and eBay are really terrible places to buy these types of batteries. Illumin.com is my favorite place and I'll have a link to them below. So up front here, there is a small lens and this unscrews all the way and there's a spring underneath there to keep tension. One note about these lenses is uh, they do melt. So if you, you really wanna be careful when you're using this thing so that it's not too close to something, because like I said, you'll melt the element in the center. And it's good to know these are replaceable because like I said, it was a rookie move and I melted my first one. While J Lasers doesn't have this item listed on their storefront, they do sell them separately. Everything here is packaged inside the stainless steel host. And this is a common host. I uh, went through my flashlight collection because I knew I had something that looked similar. And the one I have here is called a Unique Fire. You can see it's the same host. Pretty much this one is slightly longer. Um, and this one happens to be brushed, not polished. Machining here is pretty decent on the outside. You know, if you were looking at this and didn't know any better, you'd think this was a pretty high quality light. Threads are a little bit, are a little rough, but they work pretty good. And there's some lubrication on there to, that really helps. These are a tail activated lasers with a mechanical reverse clicky switch. In this application, it's got a piston, a uh, spring loaded piston there to kind of keep the cell taut. No problems there. And see, I just turned this on just because I was clicking the switch and showing you the laser came on and it hit my skin and it was hot. It was hot enough I wanted to pull my hand away. So that's the type of power we're dealing with here. Didn't mean to do that, but that's the kind of power. Weight with the lanyard and the battery in my instance was 120.7 grams. Packaging is really nothing to talk about. Just very generic cardboard box. I think it'd be nice if they added like a certificate of authenticity with the specs of the laser, maybe a half page of safety and operating instructions too, just to kind of tell people what they're getting and make sure they're using it safely. A note on JL Lasers website. JL Lasers is a small business out of Canada and it's worth noting because their website. Functionally, the website is fine, but it was created using Google Sites so they don't have their own domain name yet. I think J Laser should go ahead and spend some time bringing the site into the current century for a more cohesive professional experience. The current format could cause some buyers to question the legitimacy if they didn't have prior knowledge that was a trustworthy business and website. Right now, J Lasers uh, can only be found on Facebook for their social media and it was a little tricky to find. It's under their Contact Us page on their website. Hopefully they expand this out to other platforms in the future. Powerful lasers should go viral. A few notes about customer service with J Lasers. Jim was fantastic to converse with over email. I'm not a laser expert and I had a few questions about especially about safety and he was happy to give me additional directions and reassure me that the laser glasses that I bought were appropriate for this power level and wavelength. He was super nice too when I melted my lens which was completely my own fault. So my final thoughts are that high powered lasers are fun and impressive to shine up into the sky or point out to things at a great distance. My retired neighbor was so impressed that he had me order one for him too. He loves stargazing, watching the International Space Station fly over, so I'm sure this will aid in pointing those out to others. High-powered lasers have been around for quite a while. I remember ordering a green laser from China about 17 years ago and thinking it was amazing. And this one puts it to shame in terms of performance. And I, I always wanted better lasers, something that could maybe set something on fire or pop a balloon, but I knew that was expensive after looking at places like Wicked Laser, where their one way lasers of a similar wavelength are over $200. The JL Laser's 450 nanometer is only $60 and is more powerful and smaller. Now, if you're in the USA, there's some shipping charges that add to the cost, but what you're looking at is still 40% cheaper for more performance. We can see here the burned cardboard that I used, just kind of cool. And this one, I've kind of gotten to the point of drawing a little bit and just you know, this thing is powerful, no doubt about that. J Lasers offers seven different models with a variety of colors and wavelengths, all being under $100 before shipping. These are hand built, so they might take a little bit of time to build when you place your order, but it ends up being a fantastic value and there's even a warranty offered too. So I can really recommend this specific laser. And if hopefully you guys like these reviews, I think I might have a few more lasers coming in the future. So let me know in the comments what you think of this laser. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.